Fortnite squad. Hey yo, soccer skins are back. Uh, all of them just returned. So if you guys want to use code, uh, okay, that's not the right one. Use code Phase Swan the item shop, and uh, I'd really appreciate it. Nah, but for real, we just hit like over eleven thousand supporters for the first time ever, which is absolutely nuts. Uh, if we hit fifteen thousand within the next week, I'm gonna be doing some uh, V Buck giveaways, probably on Twitch. And maybe host some custom tournaments that have a prize. That's something I want to do. Uh, so anyways, yeah. If we hit 15k within like 6 days. So I said 7 days yesterday. Just wanted to put that out there. Yo, what's going on everyone? Uh, I just wanted to kind of hop in a uh, creative game. And kind of explain what this dead zone sensitivity is. Because a lot of people, this, this whole, these past few days when I've been streaming, everyone keeps wondering, dead zone, dead zone, what is it, what is it, what is it? Um... So if you go to your settings, uh, it's only for controllers, by the way. Uh, so you got combat controls, build controls, edit controls, and then they added another thing. Sorry if I sound a little bit sick right now. I feel like I'm getting a cold. But um, so there's this dead zone sensitivity, and it looks way different than any other screen. So the circles are where the analog sticks are. Picture it like that. This is the left and the right. Um, as you can tell, my right one's lower than my left because I changed that. So my right one started initially at 0.26, and then this one I haven't changed. It's just at 0.24. Because th so this is the one that you move around with that that thumbstick. I don't think you need to do anything with that. Just leave that. Don't mess with that. You really don't need a different dead zone for that, in my opinion, unless you wanted to move it up. So I don't think you need it any lower. But, so, the dead zone is, I'm not, I haven't even explained it yet. Um, that circle that's there, so if I move it down or move it up, so, let's say you keep a dead zone for some reason, like way up here. That means you have to move your thumbstick out of that circle to even start using your sensitivity. Like, you're not, you're... You're, you can move if you were if you had your dead zone that high, you can move your controller. Okay, well, forget. Hold on, let me get off that. You could move it like this much, like a, a decent amount, and your your character wouldn't even look anywhere. See, I moved mine a lot, a lot, and then it starts moving. Like, a, if this was my sensitivity, it would be so just twitchy. Um, so that's why you do not want something like that. You really don't. Um, so mine, so, so initially it starts at 26, like I said, and I moved mine down to 0.18. I think that's what I had it as. And ba the reason why I made it like a decent amount lower is because now you have a lot more control. It, it's a lot, you barely move your thumbstick and you can make these little slight movements. Uh, if you have it at zero, I've never even tried it. I'm actually going to go down and try it. Okay, 0 0.05. Okay, there's times when I don't even move my thumbstick after I, after I do this, and it moves a little bit. See? Okay, I'm not even touching it. And that's because it, that's because it's so sensitive. It's like, Jesus, that's the worst noise ever. It's like... Basically putting your response time up by bringing your dead zone down to a certain extent. Not directly, but I'm actually going to move it down to, I'm going to go to 16. So, I think this is a good dead zone for me. Um, it just, it just feels good. And let me say right off the bat too, this is going to help your aim a lot if you get used to something like... Uh, like a lower dead zone, especially if you have like a one millisecond response time TV or something, or you play a controller on PC, you're bound to have a really good response time. And this is gonna just make it even better. Like, it's super, it's a, not super easy, I shouldn't say that, but it's a lot easier to hit the circle when you're, when you're uh, chopping something down. Like I, because I have so much, so much more control.
think that's the first one I actually missed. Alright, I missed that one too. Alright, well, you get the point. So yeah, basically it lowers your uh, response time, or makes it quicker. And it, you just have more control over your over your aim, so uh, for controller players this is huge. I didn't even know that, that you could change your dead zone sensitivity, because I thought that was only ingrained in the controller. So, shout out to Epic for that. I mean, that, that's like actually crazy that they were that they were able to do something like this and uh, you should all you should all check it out you should definitely think about lowering it That was such a mess because it like, it was, I don't know what was happening right there. That was so dumb. Just trying to finesse that. Why didn't you let me get off my minis, brother? Oh, I thought it was there we go. <laughs> we got a med kit.
Screw getting down. I'm getting off of this. Why is my... Oh, I'm in build mode, so my sensitivity is like way higher. Alright, tap to interact. Jesus. Hmm. <laughs> oh, bye, guy. Don't lie to yourself. Ah, you thought you were smarter than me. You thought you could beat me. This is actually such a sick loadout. Thing is though, it's it is hard to get. Whoa! Wait, what? I have no mats? That's your balloons. Does his stuff fall like all the way off? Oh shit. Okay, we get actually can get this. But where is this man? Got a lot of stuff. 